Joe. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm going to be doing another motivational message. And same as before, I just woke up, so that's why I look like this. Um, and again, it's from this book, The One, by uh, Gary Keller with Jay Papasan. The One? I'm sorry, The One Thing. Gary Keller, Jay Papasan. And it looks like that's going to come across as being backwards. So I apologize, but you should be able to handle that. Okay, while to-do lists, while to-dos serve as a useful collection of our best intentions, they also tyrannize us with trivial, unimportant stuff that we feel obligated to get done because it's on our list, which is why most of us have a love-hate relationship with our to-dos. If allowed, they set our priorities the same way an inbox can dictate our day. Most inboxes overflow with unimportant emails masquerading as priorities. Tackling these tasks in the order we receive them is behaving as if the squeaky wheel immediately deserves the grease. But as Australian Prime Minister Bob Hawke duly noted, quote, the things which are most important don't always scream the loudest, unquote. Achievers operate differently. They have an eye for the essential. They pause just long enough to decide what matters and then allow what matters to drive their day. Achievers do sooner what others plan to do later and defer perhaps indefinitely, what others do sooner. The difference isn't intent. I don't really understand that sentence. Achievers do sooner what others plan to do later and defer. Okay, I get that part. Perhaps indefinitely. Okay, I get that part. What others do sooner. That's where I lose. I don't understand that sentence. I'm going to read it one more time. Achievers do sooner what others plan to do later and defer, perhaps indefinitely, what others do sooner. Hmm. Okay, the difference isn't in intent, but in right of way. If I read that sentence tomorrow, I might understand it, but today I don't understand it. The difference isn't in intent, but in right of way. Achievers always work from a clear sense of priority. Left in its raw state as a simple inventory, a to-do list can easily lead you astray. A to-do list is simply the things you think you need to do. The first thing on your list is just the first thing you thought of. To-do lists inherently lack the intent of success. In fact, most to-do lists are actually just survival lists, getting you through your day and your life, but not making each day a stepping stone for the next so that you sequentially build a successful life. Long hours spent checking off a to-do list and ending the day with a full trash can and a clean desk. Let me, let me do that one again. In fact, most to-do lists are actually just survival lists, getting you through your day and your life, but not making each day a, a stepping stone for the next so that you sequentially build a successful life. Long hours spent checking off a to-do list and ending the day with a full trash can and a clean desk are not virtuous and have nothing to do with success. Instead of a to-do list, you need a success list, a list that is purposefully created around extraordinary results. To-do lists tend to be long. Success lists are short. One pulls you in all directions. The other aims you in a specific direction. One is a disorganized directory, and the other is an organized directive. If a list isn't built around success, then that's not where it takes you. That's good. If your to-do list contains everything, then it's probably taking you everywhere but where you really want to go. All right, so that's it. That's pages 34 and 35. Uh, I don't really have too much to say about it. I think it speaks for itself. I just thought it was a really good uh, snippet. Again, from the book, The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. Today is January something, 15th, I think, um, 2021. It's 1.30 p.m. Uh, I just woke up. and uh, Well, a little while ago, actually. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'm, uh, yesterday was an odd day. Normally, I'm up to 4 a.m., but yesterday I was up at... 4 a.m. Uh, because I had to meet my son and grandson for breakfast, that's why. And then I stayed up till 1, so however many hours that is, I don't know. But uh, anyway, long day yesterday, so I slept in again today. This is pretty much uh, my routine. Growing up, my parents always said that I had my days and nights mixed up. Um, but uh, anyway, I've been trying to change for years and decades and years and decades and years and decades, and maybe eventually I will. But uh, all right. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And if it's not the 15th, it's close. It's Friday. It's January. I think it's January the 15th. God bless you all. Bye-bye.